Hey, hey, beautiful babes. Your girl, Sweet Angel here. Listen, today we'll be making a homemade vegetable glycerin moisturizer. Now, many ask, what is vegetable glycerin, Sweet Angel? Now, vegetable glycerin, or glycerol, is a clear, odorless liquid produced from plant oils, typically palm oil, soy, or coconut oil. Vegetable glycerin is often used in cosmetic additives, uh, in lotions, moisturizers, soaps, and shampoos. A well-known humectant, Glycerin also draws moisture from the air to the skin, which makes it an ideal ingredient for homemade moisturizers suitable for all skin types. And yes, this will be a vegetable glycerin moisturizer that is suitable for all skin types. What we're going to do is let you know which ingredients to use in order to tweak it for your particular skin. So let's gather what we need. A mixing bowl, a water whisk, or for me, my little frother. We'll be using vegetable glycerin, of course, and we'll be using rose water with the exception of whichever particular skin type you have. We may switch to distilled water or aloe vera. We need some vegetable oil like avocado, peanut, or sesame seed oil or sweet almond oil or apricot oil and essential oils and also a bottle to house this wonderful vegetable glycerin moisturizer in. It's time to mix everything up and we're starting with one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant that helps to lock in the moisture in your skin and keep it hydrated. Then we'll be taking a half cup of spring water or distilled water or rose water for extra moisturizing. If you have sensitive or very dry skin, substitute the water with aloe vera gel. I'll be using a half cup of rose water today because I want the extra moisturizing on my skin. Now for the oils, you'll need one teaspoon of cold pressed vegetable oil. You can use avocado oil if you have dry or aged skin, peanut or sesame seed oil for oily skin. I do not have either of those oils or also sweet almond oil or apricot kernel oil, which are lighter oils and are suitable for all skin types. One teaspoon of either of these oils. And now for the essential oils, you'll be adding five drops of essential oil of either of these choices. You'll use the essential oil that's suitable for your skin type for the best results of this glycerin moisturizer. You can use lavender or rose to nourish your normal skin type. You can use cedarwood and rosewood to hydrate dry skin or you can use citrus based oils such as orange and lemon to combat oily skin. I'll be adding five drops of lavender essential oil into my glycerin moisturizer. So now we have all of the ingredients in the bowl. It's just time now to mix it all up and get it all gelling together, okay? So I'm going to use my little frother. This is like my little whisk, my little whip. I'm going to use this to mix it up. I have my bottle on standby to pour it all in. You'll need about a six ounce glass or plastic bottle with a spritzer top if you have that available. If not, you can always just douse it in your hand hands or put it on a cotton round. You'll transfer your homemade glycerin moisturizer to your bottle and put on the top. Now this can be stored in a cool dry place out of direct sunlight when not in use. Use within 30 days for maximum freshness or you can refrigerate and use within about three to four months. It should be good to go. Y'all, this is so hydrating, so moisturizing. Put it in the fridge, especially on a nice summer day. And of course, you'll have you a cool, refreshing spritz that will moisturize your skin. 
and be sure to give it a good shake before using to make sure everything is blended together. I'm just pumping a little bit in my hand here. As you can see, it's quite liquidy, so a spritz would be better, but I did not have one that would fit my bottle today. But this is it, y'all. Just wanted to share this wonderful glycerin, vegetable glycerin mix with you that's really great to moisturize your skin with rather than using a heavy moisturizer on these hot days. If you enjoyed the video, Beautiful Bays, drop a like on it. If you have not subscribed and you love what we're doing over here at Beauty by Sweet Angel, go ahead, let me know, subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you'll be in the know the next time I upload. And please, please, please don't keep me a secret. Share me with your world. And I will see you on the next video. Bye now.